That was okay. That was weird. Okay. I don't know what was going on with Craigbot there. But anyways, that is not a big deal anymore. Um, back to getting this set up. What's going on, Trigger VA? And it'll be starting in about 10 minutes. Well, 10 and a half minutes if we're counting seconds. You probably don't care. So I don't even know why I'm saying that. But, you know, it's, just, it's uh, uh, 10 minutes and 22 seconds. <laughs> Can't hear anything. I think it might be on my end. This is the third event that game two and couldn't hear anything. Yeah, Discord is... I just wanted to just give a shout out to Discord for being a fantastic and totally stable application that has never given us any problems at all whatso friggin' ever. Shout out to Discord. We love you. And that was total sarcasm. Discord, everyone. Every two, every three, every four, every five, every... I'm literally speaking to the void right now. The only audience member is Craigbot, which is recording this for the YouTube page. That's pretty meta. That's not a big deal because the panel hasn't even started yet. Oh, oh hey there, Dodger. The going Maybella. How's it going, Trigger VA for the let's see. Never mind. There to four times the man, poor guy. <sighs> Discord really hates this man, apparently. Like, I'm not even, a, that's not even a joke. I actually legitimately feel bad. Uh, that's not a big deal because that's why we have Craig Bot here. So they're going to be able to hear it again later. Go. All right. All right. Uh, trig All right. Trigger VA. Uh, the, the 50 billionth times the charm. We good? All right. I got a DM. Uh, there we go. Now I can hear switched over from my PC. It's mobile for me. That doesn't work for some reason. Yeah, I got that. I know what. Uh, yeah. That's a shame. You didn't. You did. You didn't get to hear. You didn't get to hear my uh, beautifully sarcastic uh, uh, shout out to Discord for being an excellent app that is always functional and never gives us any problems whatsoever. Um, <laughs> I couldn't finish that sentence. Um, I've got a. I've got a love hate relationship with this app in case you couldn't already tell, which I'm sure a lot of people do. But like, vote burning at this point and go where Skype. So we're kind of screwed in the, uh, in that department, but that, I mean, that's okay. I mean, when it, whenever, I mean, it does, it, it has its uses and there's really no, there's really no platform like it for what we, what we're doing with this. So, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Skype is pretty good. That is cute. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> that is all that's, uh, it is, is, uh, Honestly, I, honestly, in all seriousness, I actually do find Discord very, you know, Discord definitely has its uses for, you know, what I do and especially for what we do here. And that's why we're still here. <laughs> now, like, there's any other, not like there's really anything to replace it anyway. <laughs> Microsoft Teams. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Also to be also to be fair, it's less the app itself, and it's it's less the app itself, and more of just servers like liking to play stupid and unfriend horror films. Why'd you have to remind me of those? <laughs> yeah, it was it was definitely, but this 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 court came out twenty fifteen, so it would have definitely been. Yeah, I, I remember it was before it. the films were good. I guess I just I just thought I just thought they were. I mean, they were definitely innovative. In for the, they were definitely innovative for the time because I know there was no real movies out that I could think of that were like that. <laughs> uh, even if it's aged like milk because Discord popped on the scene in 2015 and it's pretty much taken over the game in that department. <laughs> like literally, if it, if it was like if it was today, like if it was today, it would either be it would either be in a Zoom chat room or a Discord chat room. <laughs> we get a Discord <laughs> movie probably. Uh, let me see. Uh, we still. Almost time. Are people are go ahead and get hello? Hello, uh, where? Hello. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice All right. idea. Perfect. In that case, I will go ahead and set the go live uh, thing up. All right. Uh, check on the Twitch page real quick just to see if we're live. No, I do not want to update my Twitch app yet. Twitch, uh, <laughs> quit, quit, quit playing with me right now. Really, uh, you yep. an update now? <laughs> no, it, it's it, that is on, that's on my phone. Like I have, I have the chat on hand on my phone just in case uh, I catch something the moderators can't. <laughs> so, anyways, 
I will go ahead and hop into the audience. The stage is all yours. Woohoo. Nice. Hey. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Q&A panel with Abel Chaddix. I'm hello, here everyone. with my, my co-host, Chris. Oh, another Discord moment this no. early. <laughs> oh, no. Everything was going very Chris. well before. One, two, three. Earth to Chris. Oh, no. Another Discord moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we could hear him very well in the green room. Yeah. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. Another Discord moment this early. We apologize. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can hear you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Hello? There we go. Okay. Discord moment. <laughs> right in the beginning of the panel. Exactly what it was. Right at the beginning. This is a new yeah. record. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. Yeah, my codes. Yeah, it did. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Q and A with Evo Statics. Okay, I'm joined with my codes, Cookie Star. Hello. In our special guest for today, Evo Shadows. <laughs> Hello. You can just call me Shadix. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to start it off with the first question, what inspired you to make the animation? Hmm, animation. Um. Actually, it was back when I was doing my uh, animation and video game course. Um, we mostly did a 3D animation, but I wasn't very thrilled by it. We also had like 2D uh, animations um, classes, but um, that's the ones that I was mostly excited for. And I remembered like this uh, classmate that now it's a very good friend of mine. Uh, he did a lot of animation and he posted online and he did contribute for me to gain motivation to um, animate and do the animations that I do today. Um, and I'm very thankful. He's a huge inspiration. Uh, so then I did start doing animations in my free time because uh, mostly I do uh, concept art and yeah, I do animation for fun. Not something that I do uh, very seriously. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. you have any questions for you? Oh, absolutely. I have a question for Shadex. So, what is your favorite Sonic game? Mm, my favorite? Oh, it would be Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> goaded, goaded. <laughs> yeah. Goated. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do have a lot of Sonic games that I, I love, but I think like this is the one that it's always prominent on my mind. And I had a lot of fun with it. And like each uh, country that uh, Sonic goes, it has like this unique atmosphere and a unique OST that represents the place, the place that you play in. And also the story and the cutscene quality is pretty good. I don't think we'll ever get like cutscenes like that in the intro. Rift Off Run will always be the best one, especially with the music. Yeah. That is everyone's <laughs> all-time favorite when it comes to Sonic Unleashed. Rift Off I, Run. I, yeah, I agree. And even like the final boss, uh, like the music and the fight itself, well, I guess like the stages that it has. Um, it's yeah, amazing. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. I agree. <laughs> mm. Before we do move on to the audience question, since I see one hand up, of all of, uh, out of all of the characters you have yeah, drawn and animated, which one is your most favorite one you like to be? Uh, I feel like um, I think like Amy is very fun to animate. Uh, Sonic is way too hard with his quills. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sometimes, like, in certain perspectives, I have a little, um, hard time doing, uh, movements of Sonic's quills. Um, but Amy, I just feel like it's very fun to add the physics of her, uh, quills and dress. The dress, it's always, like, fun to, uh, animate, too. Yes, we saw that in the, uh, Frontiers animation. Uh, the front, yeah, the Frontiers animation, yeah. You can, uh, I think, I feel like you, the, um, it has, uh, Amy has more, is more expressive than Sonic. I feel like, because I was enjoying myself and added more uh, effort to Amy, for sure. I can definitely tell. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, 
Let's bring up Kruger V8 since they have their hand up. What? What was that? Sorry. You know, I was saying let's bring up Kruger V8 since they have their hand up. Down oh, nice. Hello, Trigger. Hi. Hello, Trigger. Hi. And just like that, I can't hear any of you guys as soon as I come up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Trigger. gosh. laughs> oh, Discord, <laughs> why? Discord. Discord. Oh, God. Discord. Discord doesn't like us. This is a fact. Specifically, <laughs> as like me, everything was going so well before. Let's see. Can you hear us now, Trigger? I can hear you now. Perfect. <laughs> As I said before, Skype is looking a heck of a lot better than Discord right now. <laughs> the Reddit doesn't have the same features that Discord has. Oh, and the worst of my me back call, to the old days. Discord, everyone. What's the question there, Trigger? Yeah, so <clears throat> uh, first off, huge fan of your work. Like, it's honestly been inspiring. Like, seeing like Seeing the drawings that you've done and the animation really inspired me to get more into art myself. So my question for you is, uh, during all the time that you've been animating, uh, what would have to be one of your toughest challenges you had to face and overcome, and how'd you do it? Oh, oh, all right. Firstly, I'm super happy to hear like that I inspire people. That's one of the objectives, life objectives that uh, my works and art can provide motivation to others. So that's really nice to hear. Really, thank you. Um, but, okay, so actually in my latest Sonic Frontiers animation, uh, it was very hard to actually continue with it. I <laughs> Midway, I kind of wanted to give up because I was adding too much to the animation and I had to cut a few expressions because I feel like with um because since I'm not someone uh I was not with someone with a lot of experience in animation uh I over animated a few scenes you don't need to over uh, over animate a few scenes to uh, pass the audience the emotions that you want them to feel in that moment um so I feel like I simplified certain scenes so I could get the thing done. Um, so once I overcame that part, it was a lot easier for me to do uh, animation in general well, with the future animations actually that I'm doing. So it's mainly on like readapting to <clears throat> readapting to a new routine basically is what you're describing. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's just not uh, overcomplicate the certain parts of the process with uh, expressions and certain movements. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Like, you know, when it comes to overdoing, like, you know, that I can understand because even back then, when I was getting more into art, like I, I honestly started sketching the Titans myself, like all three, Wyvern, Knight, and Giganto, even. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely one of my biggest challenges was like, you know, the further I got, the more further away it seemed. Because when you can nail down so many details, you start seeing like, oh, no, there's one detail that's missing. Then there's another. and It's another. It keeps on stacking on. Like, like for example, like uh, certain details on like, say, with knife, for example, because that was definitely one that I struggled with. His sword oh, yeah. or his shield, so many creases, so many cracks, so many like different like shades of uh, dark gray to gray and black and et cetera. And then the red glow. And it's like, holy cow. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can yeah. see why that would be difficult because then it just has three different colors. Yeah. Well, yeah, but like the, the hard part is, is like, yeah, sure, three different colors and so many different shades of gray. But the hard part is, is like determining like which parts. Are the certain shades because you got to keep like blending it through and then you got to nail down all the details like the cracks the creases and i could keep rambling on but there's so much with those freaking titans that i can't even describe <laughs> i imagine but, like titans are very hard to animate uh yeah they have so many details maybe that's why we have to adapt a little of the design to make it a little less detailed uh but the people can understand that oh yeah it's that titan you know Maybe yeah. like, we don't need to add everything yeah, from the, the concept design of it. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the best uh, detail comes with the less work is one thing that I had to adapt to when I got further with art, mm -hmm. which I'm still adapting to. 
<laughs> in general, yeah. they're just big boys. <laughs> that's all you need to know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but that's yeah. right. Thank, thank you for the question, really. No yeah, problem. thanks for your question, Trigger. Cheers. And good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the, the next person, Oh, sure, absolutely. I see our boss here. <laughs> Come right up, Kevin. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Hi, Hi Kevin. Hi. <laughs> Everybody, you already, know those you already know that was going to happen. I'm tired. What would I call? I was saying, uh, no, so what's your question? Oh yeah. Uh, so first off, uh, shout out very, very well done on your work. I like that. I like the egg family, the the pin one on your tweet. That's one of my favorites. It's it's very well done. Oh yeah, I'm very proud of that one. That's why I keep it. I actually pinned it. It was. I felt very nice about that artwork. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. So since since you're outside of the U.S., what's one thing you wish you were able to? To get Sonic wise, like it could be say like the merchandise or or, or the comics, th- things like that. Oh, um, actually, uh, recently we have have been having more clothing items available at the clothing stores uh, here in Portugal. Um, but the one thing that I never got, uh, got to find it. It was the Sonic IDW comics, or even like the Archie comics. I never found in any comic shop or store around here. Um, I feel like that's the more lacking part in my country about like Sonic related uh, merch and stuff. Um, but I feel like recently I've been pretty happy that uh, certain stores here um, now have like more Sonic items for sure. But I'm not happy <laughs> with this, the Sonic comics. They don't have them. Well, I hope you get the opportunity to get them later on down the road. It's always nice to talk to more fans from, from overseas and out, outside the U.S. Oh, yeah. And thank you for answering my question. Oh, no. Thank, thank you for the question. Alrighty, then. Yeah. Alrighty, here's my next question. Mm-hmm. Do, you, uh, do you ever... Yeah. Oh, sorry, oh, go ahead. Do you ever wish you, know, you could actually have, like, the never wish the, sorry, never wish, you know, like, some of the Sonic conventions could be in uh, uh, near you? That way you'd be able to attend without having to make a long trip? Uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't understand the question. And I'm talking about, like, you know how, like, we have, like, the conventions, like the Sonic Revo convention or the oh, Expo? Oh, conventions. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we have like any specific Sonic convention around here. I feel like you can find certain Sonic related things in uh, Comic Con. We do have Comic Con and uh, Iberanim. Yeah, I feel like you have some cons around here um, that have like Sonic related stuff, but specifically about Sonic, I don't think so, to be honest. Do you ever wish they would bring it to uh, the Philippines? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I feel like it's unlikely to happen. So I feel like if I get the opportunity, I would go to the U.S. to attend one of those conventions for sure. Yeah, there's always next year. Planning ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Anybody you could eat any other questions? I do, in fact. Uh, this is a general question. Uh, if you have like the opportunity to, let's just say, let's just put it as, as a Sonic question. If you have like the opportunity, like to work with Sega in terms of the lore, what would you do or change in your perspective? Mm. Um, I would probably, uh, work within the comic scene, like for, for example, the Sonic IDW comics, uh, I'm already like, I've seen that with the game industry is very hard because I I'm actually like I work for a game in the, uh, a game company so I know how hard it can be especially if you go to <laughs> uh, go work with a, um, a big company such as Sega um, I feel like I I'd be more willing to go for like uh, Sonic IDW maybe doing covers or even panels. I always loved like comic creating. 
Uh, I even like had this project that I kind of abandoned it because I didn't have much time <laughs> and lost a little motivation because of it. Um, but I feel like I would uh, maybe try to get myself like better at uh, color rendering and like composition itself so I could work uh, at the Sonic IDW um, team uh, doing covers and maybe like coloring the pages because I know they have like people that do the sketches and then people that have uh, do line art and other people that do the coloring. It's usually not all the same person sometimes. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty impressive. Like most of the time people like who actually wants to like be close to it, it always starts with the comics or artwork in general. That's right. um, sometimes yeah. the best way to go. Yeah. I, I feel like they are more approachable, like the team that are around the comics. I feel like they interact more maybe and give more opportunities with the community. Um, as like for the Sonic team itself in the game industry, it's a little bit harder to get there, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have another question for her, Chris? Let's see. I've been, I've been trying to think of something for like when, yeah, when you're, she was answering your last question. Let's see. Well, already asked, you know, what was your favorite thing to animate? Mm. That's my favorite. Uh, hang on. Uh, is there any other you know, music soundtracks from other games that you enjoy listening to that helps you uh, motivate you to draw and animate? Oh, uh, soundtracks? Yeah. Is there any like, uh, kind of music, you know, sonic songs that inspire yeah, you yeah. to try to draw more? Uh, yeah, definitely. So, um, I, I feel like, like lately I've been hearing more uh, since I like just listened to the Sonic Frontiers OST a lot, just <laughs> a lot, and I feel like everybody did <laughs> in the Sonic community. People love the uh, the OST in that game. Um, I've been hearing like a lot of remixes of the boss battles uh, of Sonic Frontiers, and um, I just forgot the name of the game. I feel it was. Um, Oh yeah, uh, I discovered like the OST of Sonic Runners is actually good, and I listened to it for a while. Um, I didn't really know about the the, the soundtrack for Sonic Runners because like that game was up for such a a short time. I didn't even got to properly like know about it and uh, listen to the to the music of the game. But it's right. actually pretty good. Sometimes I do listen to in Sonic songs and like official ones from Sega. I also listen to Ed McGrath's you know, like you know anime opening themes of the boss uh, the boss fights music. They mm. really, yeah, really do and does a really good job. It's also inspirational when it comes to that. Yeah, they are very inspirational. They they give a lot of motivation when you're doing animations and other works as well. Yeah. Exactly. Be like me and use the Sonic Frontier soundtrack to do workout. Trust me. <laughs> Those are amazing. <laughs> it pumps it pumps you up for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Oh, see. we have a text question from Gabby. Shaddix, uh, are you really evil? <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I, I said in the green room, I'll say it here. I am uh, this this is like the scam that I give to everybody. I'm actually not evil, okay? You can see. I'm just Shaddix. I should uh, probably draw people from my name. Or or just keep scamming <laughs> people. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I feel like I'm going for the evil route and scam people. No. <laughs> yeah, we're just I'm silly boomers. Unless, unless you touch my secret stash of cookies, then uh, I will not be very nice. <laughs> there you go, she brought the cookies. <laughs> I'm dying right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, oh, let's we see. We got new drugs. <laughs> yeah, getting their hand up. Let's bring them up. Hello, welcome. Hello. You should have called yourself Hero Shaddix. No. <laughs> really? There we I, go. No, I'm not <laughs> gonna go to the, the hero story now. I'm yeah, for now the you're my hero academia now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> but for real though. Alright, the real question is um uh, do you got any um 
best uh, Sonic games you have? Uh, some Sonic games that I have. Uh, best Sonic games, like you know, like ranking, like top five or top three. Ah, okay, okay, like a ranking. Okay, um, I mean, number one, Sonic Unleashed. I guess that already said it was my favorite game. That one is obvious. <laughs> that one is obvious. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, the list here gets a little weird. Um, so my second favorite, I'm not sure if it would be like Sonic Adventure One or Sonic Adventure Two. To be honest, uh, I feel like they're they're very good. Both very good. Uh, I'll put them in number two. <laughs> they they both Fair. deserve it. Um, but uh, yeah, and I guess the next one would be like this. This probably got to be a surprise. Uh, Sonic Crush Adventure. I really love that Sonic. game. Oh, that's cool. That's a <laughs> no, <it's> a- <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because like everybody talks uh, about Sonic Rush, and uh, I didn't get to play it. Uh, I just got to play Sonic Rush Adventure, uh, but it was such a game prominent um, in my uh, childhood um, in my Nintendo DS. Still uh, need to play that. <laughs> I feel like I have a, a great attachment to to that game, and I feel like it's very different from other Sonic games. I um, I really liked to to play it. Go to that game, especially as for like, <laughs> yeah, as for um, the Rush Adventure. Um, I have definitely been not listening to um the C map. <laughs> oh, the C map. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, Actually, C-Map. like one thing about that game, the OST is very good. Yes, I love music. So that's why they're so good. I'm a sucker for um. Tropical music. Mm-hmm. I mean, they hit you with that in the intro of the game. Yep. All right, yeah. Thanks for the question. And I'm, I'm actually, um, I was like, wow, really? Rush Adventures? Oh, that took me by surprise. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But it was that's a surprise. A good take, though. That is a good take. Nah, thank you. Actually, that someone was- that knows Sonic Rush Adventures. So, actually, you were the, um, the chosen one for this question. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> Sonic Rush Adventure. <laughs> Uh, I'm the next symbol of peace, everyone. The next symbol of peace. <laughs> and okay. now for Cookie or Kenny, short question. Can I have your cookies? <laughs> no. How many times do I have to tell you no? <laughs> yes? Yes, no. do it. No, okay. no, no. Okay, no. Okay, All right, see you. Back to the channel around we go. <laughs> <See>. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Oh, we'll click again. There's there. a next question. Let's you want to read it, Chris? Yep. Let's see. Uh, from Ava, they asked, what was the favorite art style that was used across the Sonic franchise? It can be in comics, promo, official art, or even the in-game graphics. By the way, fellow Rush fan, uh, Adventure fan. Oh, thank you. Um, and thank you for the question. So this is very easy, actually. I absolutely love the art style and the cutscenes of Sonic and the Black Knight. I feel like mm. they're very unique, and um, they people. I feel like some some people say like they um, very similar to the um, Secret Rings, but it's not actually. Uh, it's a, a bit different, to be honest. Um, with the um, the hard shadows. And it's it's very cool. I do like it. Like the perspective on the on the artworks, it's actually pretty good. Okay. Oh, thank you for your question, Ava. <laughs> mm-hmm. And considering we have no one now, but I draw the it, we'll bring him back up. He wants to talk about Sonic Rush Adventure again. <laughs> Probably. I didn't even notice that I put my hand up. I didn't even notice. <laughs> How do you not notice that? Well, no, like, I, I didn't recall it. I didn't even recall putting the hand up, but <laughs> but I okay. But um, uh, what's my god? I mean, I mean, I'll still ask a question in my mind. I'll, I'll still ask a question though, even then. <laughs> but yeah. um, hmm. you got any like um favorite Sonic characters? Oh yeah. Um, I guess my fa- uh, all time favorite Sonic character would be Shadow. Um, Ooh. but I but I also love uh Amy very much. She has a special place in my heart. That explains. I, 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 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Funny thing. Um, there's this parody video of like evil Sonics and evil Shadix. You know. Mm-hmm. That's that's why, that's how I got my name. By the way. Oh wow! I can tell. I mean, uh, I could say it. I mean, come on, Shadix. Wonder what's uh, yeah. that the chat <laughs> Yeah, but I just changed one letter, so it's like, oh, it's uh, not going to be very, very obvious. It has to be a little different. So, yeah, that's oh, that's my God. origin. That's my origin story. I have no idea. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> All right. Even though it was a short question or simple, but I'll still take this. <laughs> and give me more cookies. No. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> no more cookies. No. <laughs> Oh, hey, who's got their hand up? Let's bring them up. Hi. Hello there. Hello. Well, I just got a simple question here. So, but it's to, maybe it's first of all, nice to meet you. And second of all, uh, my question was, which characters from the Sonic series did you find being the most relatable slash similar to yourself? Like, some kind of character that you could, like, help see yourself in? I guess. Mm-hmm. That's a, actually a very interesting question. I never thought about this. Um, let's see. I don't know. Maybe uh, at some point of my life, I, I feel like Sonic, maybe. Um, I did, like, uh, before, did a lot of sports. And I actually liked, like, the sensation of, like, the wind in my face when I, I was running. Um, yeah, I, 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 I yeah, I do like uh, like I had a lot more freedom before, and like I liked that time of my life. Um, I guess it was my inner Sonic before, um, but now it's not as relatable. Um, I feel like I lost that freedom because you know you grow up, you get responsibilities. Yay! True. You you, um, like, you gotta you gotta enjoy it while you still can yeah i mean my i'm still in my early 20s so i still have time to enjoy my life uh uh maybe just, to the fullest just, just i just want to say it just simply uh for me i kind of for me i kind of feel like a silver of it like you know like even in a harsh situation just trying to see good and trying to fix everything probably even if it's not your responsibility just do that yeah yeah. Anyways, yeah, thanks. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the question. Thank you, Ava. Question, Ava. Yeah, right. That got an interesting question. And it's in regard to one of the animations, like the Frontier Animations, the Golden Petals at the Horizon. Mm-hmm. What inspired what inspired that one? Um so I guess I'm not I'm not sure when I started the animation. I think I I think it was it was before the DLC was announced and I was not very happy with the end game we had. So when you have like that power of like, mm, I could try to do something and uh, with this and also like, I'm pretty sure I, I, I've seen like discussions online about it and people wanted like a different kind of ending. And I based off a little bit on that and for the, my expectations and I created an animation about that. Um, but uh, also seeing uh, other people making Sonic Frontiers animations, uh, mm-hmm. it was very inspiring. Um, I can't like say like any specific animation right now, because uh, like uh, I consumed a lot of my uh, a lot of content on Twitter. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but like everyone on the community contributes to uh, other people's. Uh, Creative uh, creativity and uh, I gained motivation f- through it. Uh, so and also I think like oh yeah it was like uh, people were doing a lot of uh, fan art of Super Amy and I kind of wanted to do my own and I was like wait maybe I could try like make an animation out of it. Uh, so yeah I did and then I realized it was taking so but like too long like okay i have to i have to simplify this and um yeah that's how i got to be i'm glad i didn't give up from it because it was taking i took like a few months to do it while i was doing my full-time job so i didn't have much time to do it um but yeah i'm glad i did and the reception of it was like amazing 
and I'm still very happy over heels over it. You did an amazing job, yeah. Okay. Honestly, looking at like I've seen many different fan art designs of like what Super Amy would look like. You like when it comes to yours, you made it not like it more unique to like how like it should be. Like how like with Sonic with his clothes like normally just going up, more like with Blades when they're like when she goes burning. You gave like you know, not just her like her like fur appearance changing, but like her outfit as well, giving a change. Mm-hmm. As well as her hammer as well. Oh yeah, the hammer was very fun to do. I didn't want to um, overcomplicate her design. I feel like it was also it, it is it is also very hard to animate when you overcomplicate the character design. Um, and I felt like it worked so well. Um, and actually, like thank you. I'm very proud of that design. To be honest, um, I, I would say it is. Uh, that um, Super Amy artwork is its my favorite uh, Sonic-related artwork I ever did, and I'm very proud of it. Definitely should be. <laughs> anyway, you got any questions there, Cookie? Lovely. Uh, can you tell us more or less uh, what tools do you use for your artwork and animations in general? Oh, for sure. Um, so, uh, Usually, I've been using more uh, Procreate uh, to do roughs uh, mm-hmm. in animation. Uh, but since like uh, Procreate ha- doesn't have many animation tools and you could only uh, work in single frames, you can't like add layers to each frame. It's very complicated to uh, work, uh, do like a full on animation in Procreate. So then I pass to my PC and uh, do it in Photoshop. So like the timeline in Photoshop is like very intuitive and it's like super simple. And it's just, uh, I feel like it's the software that I use the most for animation uh, at the moment. But like for the Sonic Frontiers animations, uh, it was on Procreate solely because it just was sketches. Uh, but when it's like now I'm trying to do f- uh, fully colored, I have to do it in Photoshop because I cannot, um, for the love of God, do it in Procreate. It's too hard. Understandable. Yeah. Re- yeah. Recently, like, like they did like this version for animation in Procreate to help those artists. Like they wanted to do animation on there. I don't know if you hear about that. Oh yeah, Procreate Dreams, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, f- funny enough, I did purchase uh, <laughs> Procreate Dreams, um, but I I just felt like it was missing a few tools so you could work on animations. Um, it definitely is better than Procreate, but I feel like with the programs that you have, uh, for example, like Clip Studio Paint, uh, Photoshop, Krita, like. Those, I feel like you're going to do more than Procreate Dreams. But like for people that have iPads, um, well, definitely, you know. Uh, but you also can, yeah, you have, I feel like, ah, I think uh, you have like Clip Studio Paint uh, in the iPad, I think. You can work there in animation. Yeah, absolutely. It, it is really amazing. Clip Paint Studio it is really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, for artworks, I use Paint Tool Side. <laughs> Oh my god, same. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I, it never disappointed me. It, the UI is very simple, easy to understand, and it has all the available tools like you need to do uh, artworks. Uh, of course, like there's other, like more advanced tools that you have in other programs, uh, for example, like uh, even animation. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I feel like to color it, to sketch uh, in it. I just, I do everything on Paint side most of the time. Oh, same. Yeah, it's very <laughs> friendly. It's a very friendly software, too. In mm-hmm. general, I do line arts and sketch in general. It's really good, like very, very friendly. For anybody who wants to start artwork, I highly recommend it. Sometimes I use a bit of you know, paint experts on my drawings that I've done on my phone and on my tablet. <laughs> All right. 
you can draw on your on your phone. Like I feel like it's very hard unless you have like a little pen with the phone. I do. Yeah, I've drawn on my phone a bunch of times before. I've gotten used I know to it. People, yeah, I know people who draw with fingers, so you can tell how goaded they are. Oh, oh mm-hmm. God. With fingers. I am not joking. I've seen people make amazing full artwork with fingers only. And I just question I, how they do that. <laughs> with my very round, big fingers, I don't think I'll ever get to do anything amazing on my phone. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my next question is, yeah, how do you deal with yeah, an art block? Like, if you have to deal with any, how do you deal with it? Okay, so I personally, I don't think I actually threw uh, an art block, like, I don't go through art block many times. Um, I have so many ideas coming in my little brain of mine that I sometimes forget certain ideas for artworks but mostly like animations. Um, I guess I experienced like, for example, the Sonic Frontiers uh, animation, I went through like a lack of motivation. Um, So yeah, Uh, I feel like like the first step is realizing that it's something like psychological. Um, It's like, it has to be like something on our mind preventing us from developing ideas. Uh, of feeling like motivated so most likely it's because we have oh god sorry i had an alarm on my pc and i got startled i couldn't couldn't hear it so you're good okay okay um so most likely we have a lot in our mind or there's just too much in our plate and you know that's okay doesn't mean that our uh capacity for creating ideas or inspiration have disappeared. Uh, sometimes we just need to give ourselves a little break. Um, so what I do is like sometimes uh, while I'm on this train of the lack of motivation, I just start uh, creating something super simple, like simple shapes, limiting uh, what I'm drawing, so it's not too overwhelming for me. And eventually, like through just expressing myself uh, on on the canvas just doing simple uh, shapes and whatever scribbles. I just, like, eventually it comes back to me. Mm-hmm. Seriously, dr- writing that down. Oh, my God. I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, I'm glad I could help somehow. Um, yeah, it, it is very rough for people. Because, uh, like, they start to feel like um, they're not, like... Uh, doing maybe they're doing something wrong maybe like their capacity of creating ideas is gone but like it's not that people just need time sometimes which is understandable uh, i get like that when it comes to kind of doing 3d oh, sorry, real hmm? so, sorry real quick real quick okay uh, okay yeah hey. as, as she said people get inside her room mm. all right let's see okay, <laughs> Yeah, uh, as for my my extra question, um, let's see. What would be the best advice for anybody who wants to start artwork? Like, what would you give them to start with? Like, the best advice? Mm, uh, I feel like, like some people s- uh, just start doing some, uh, like, simple drawings. And sometime later, they feel like this courage when you look at those artworks and you start to feel like it is not what it is like a desired quality that you want and you don't feel good about it. Um, and that's OK. Like, just you shouldn't give up from it. Remember, like you're always working towards something with what you're doing right now. Uh, eventually, eventually, like improvements will take notice with time and dedication so like people sh- should just keep going honestly uh do some uh, studies like uh, of I- either like uh i guess uh human uh body parts just hands i hate i i hate hands and sometimes i have to do uh, hand ge- uh, gestures uh some studies about it um so yeah, I just feel like like you have to do a few studies and maybe 
when you get that down, you can advance to more to more new stuff when you feel comfortable with doing certain certain things. Okay. Well, okay, thank you for that. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, right. Chris, I have another Can question. Another? Yep. What do you mm -hmm. see yourself doing in the future, illustration wise? Mm -hmm. Like uh, Sonic related or just like overall? Like anything in general. Like anything in general. Uh, honestly, like, it, it, I, at the moment, I like, I was working uh, for a, a I was working with the game industry for three years. I was actually like, I improved a lot. And so like, it helped me a lot, like improve my art in general. And I had this issue with like, uh, I over, I dedicated too much time doing uh, some concepts. And uh, I learned that I just need to do as many as I can to like lay out ideas. Um, and uh, I don't know. Um, I wanted to continue it within the game industry, but like right now, um, I wanted to just uh, go through with art commissions because I've been doing art commissions in the side for like uh, I feel like it's been six, seven years, um, and I wanted to dedicate more time to it because I uh, love to do art art for other people and it, it is very hard to work within the game industry in my country at least uh, I wanted to give it a try to work within art commissions but if I could like I would move on to a, a new company other opportunities because I really love to do uh, concept art uh, it is honestly like my passion and I wanted to go with it all right that sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, okay, this is another general question, and people pretty much will know what I'm going to ask. Uh, <laughs> besides Sonic, do you have any other favorite video game franchise that you like the most? I mean, I do. I do have a bunch. Um, I would say, like, the more uh, that are in my mind would be, like, uh, probably like Pokemon, The Legend of Zelda, and even Halo. <laughs> um, I do like. Uh, I feel like I've abandoned a bit like the Pokemon community a bit because like the recent games I have not been playing it. I, I think ever since like Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, I don't know. I I was a little disappointed maybe with like what the games have come um i did enjoy uh, legends Arceus though he's pretty nice he was a uh, yeah. yeah yeah the, cl the classics nice. will always be the goaded ones i'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah. agreed i did enjoy yeah. like the classics yeah you also uh, mentioned zelda which is another w in my book <laughs> nice <laughs> um yeah, Halo. I feel like I I'm still missing a few a few games, but uh, I do love uh, the the franchise itself. Uh, I've played like the latest one. I think it's like Halo Infinite, and I just lost the the will to play it because uh, like there was too many microtransactions in a game, and it was like all over the place, and like the progression that you have in the multiplayer multi multiplayer. It's not good. It's very slow, and I just lost the will to play the game. Um, it seems like that for a lot of people. When you think about it, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it has been it has been an issue for all these like cool games that in order to do certain things you need to pay, and that's very ah, uh, <laughs> very to, like, annoying. They very do, like, annoying. To, to slap, yeah, slap microtransactions everywhere. Um, yeah, and it's like I feel like that's not gonna help them much because like it's just gonna scare the players away. And, oh no, too many microtransactions! Oh, no, 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 like you already pay, you already paid for the game. What else do you need from me? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, nah, unless it's like your... unless it's like like the free games, you know. The... Yeah, you see, that's the that's the best thing I love about the the new Zelda games. That like in general. Like, for example, for Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild, like mm -hmm. those series, like everything 
you have two options to unlock everything. Either you have the amiibo for it, or you can just do a quest to get it. <laughs> like you don't have to pay for it. You literally have the option to get it yourself and have more fun, more hours in the game to get the same thing that you can have with the amiibo. That's the best part. Exactly. Yeah, that is really cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Nice thing. Have... Oh. oh, I was just going to say, like, I still didn't play, like, Tears of the Kingdom. I just played Breath of the Wild a little bit. Uh, I feel like um, maybe I'm not the right audience for the game. Like, the game is pretty good. I just feel like I don't have much patience for, like, I or I feel overwhelmed with so many things I can do. Like, there's so many things you can do in the game, and I, I felt a little overwhelmed. Um, but it, it's still a very good game. I, I just feel like I'm not the right person for the game. I, I really love the other, um, the other Zelda formula, the other games. Mm -hmm. Like I love Twilight Princess, uh, Skyward Sword. Those are my favorites from the franchise. Dang. Yeah, they're so good. Um, in, in my case, no wonder I have so many hours in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> oh, I get too many hours on that one. I'm a completionist. Oh, like I literally want to have everything on it so I can like move on to the next game. <laughs> Never <laughs> that that be. That, yeah, that happened to me. For example, I was in between Sonic Frontiers and Tears of the Kingdom, and <laughs> I chose to complete Sonic first and then move on to Zelda. So I can like, you know, calmly play it. <laughs> All right. Now you do. You do it right. You do it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next question is, is what and do you have any new projects that are coming up this year? What can you tell us about them? Yeah, okay, so Sonic related, I do have big things coming, especially like I've been invited to this Sonic Community Collab animation. Um, it is a lot of people, very talented people within the Sonic community, and uh, I'm going to do a short part in the animation. Um, I was very happy that I was invited to it because uh, uh, most of the people there are actually uh, a huge inspiration for me. Uh, yeah. So um, I also have like other Sonic animations in the making, especially like the ones that I was showing in the group room. The, um, uh, I have one like it's shadow related. Uh, I was thinking, it, this is like not completely planned, but I wanted to gi give a second part to the um, go golden paddles animation. I wanted like to make them fight. I want to challenge myself to make fight scenes to see how it goes. Um, getting a sequel! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do make one. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That because I didn't ever, I don't think I ever did like uh, any fight scene, and th those are very complex. And I need to study more, um, like perspective angles, that's for sure. Um, yeah, and I also have like non Sonic related that it's, uh, I wanted to make, um, maybe recreate the comic series that I posted on Webtoons. Uh, it's called Blooming Horizons. Uh, but I don't feel like like right now I don't have the time to uh, develop it because I want to like recreate the story uh, and even like the characters. I need to put more uh, time in it for sure in the development. And then maybe later on, when I get all the other projects done and I have um, other things settled, I will advance to recreating this comic series because I really love doing comics. Oh, you did find it like very fast, Cookie. I'm telling you. <laughs> you are very good at this. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. It is exactly that one. Holy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that that's it, what I have planned for this year. Okay. You got any other questions there, Cookie? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This is another general question. So what kind of genre you like of movies? Of movies? Um, mm -hmm. I do like the... Uh, probably like action and comedy. I feel like those aren't my favorite ones. 
I hate horror. I just can't handle it. I, I die. The only time they brought that, like a friend brought me to a horror movie. Uh, I, like she said it was not scary. It was scary for me. <laughs> I, I just cannot handle those. But like I do love like uh, action and comedy um, movies. Gotcha. It seems I'm the only person who actually can handle horror because I pretty much grew like watching horror movies and I think I'm, I'm used to it. <laughs> That's a gift. I don't yeah. <laughs> like it. Like, it, you know, as somebody who actually likes the, the genre, it's like, you know, what's going to happen and it still gets you. But you knew it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like it was very obvious that certain parts of the movie uh, was gonna happen, and I was yeah. like, I, 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 I still got scared. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So it since we have another hand up. Mm. again. We'll bring up. Welcome back for another round with. Uh, oh, look who it is! <laughs> 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 Are you gonna ask who's my favorite ship in the sky? Oh no. <laughs> Maybe no, no, that was not my question. <laughs> no, it'd be funny. It'd be funny. Go on, go on. Um, so I'm sorry if I sound like your weird guy, but like, yeah, favorite anime. Oh, I I do. Um, oh. it's Katakyo Hitman Reborn, and I feel like nobody's gonna know about it. <laughs> what? It's a, a mafia related anime. Oh, a mafia. A mafia. Yeah, that's how mafia, mafia. works. Please. <laughs> but it's not that dark. It's actually pretty uh, lighthearted and it's like easily watchable. It's not like heavy, ma actually mafia stuff. Mm. Another good recommendation. Yeah, I can write in the in the chat because like um, since nobody knows about it, I'm just gonna write it down. Thank you. I don't oh, worry. Really? I'm gonna watch it. Oh, Hitman! Oh, oh, yeah, I think I heard about it. Hitman, I think. Mm -hmm. Probably if I look yeah, it up. Um, it's it it's like a big core memory that I heard about it. Yeah, I'm per I think, yeah. Yeah, oh. I, and what's special to me is like one of the voice actors uh, from the, um, the main character came to one of, uh, came to like a convention here. And I was like very happy that she was here. And I went to talk to her. Um, I was actually in oh, in the only cosplay uh, I ever did. I was doing like Team Skull Grunt cosplay, and I had like pink hair, and she also had pink hair. <laughs> and so she was like talking about it. I had a translator by my side because she was Japanese, um, and I got an autograph of her. And I'm it's still one of the most precious items I I got. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's a, a very special anime to me. Hmm. I'll maybe yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, it's exactly that one, Cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That, that, that oh. Oh. So. Oh. So that's what it's called. Yeah, I've seen some of these characters in some arts before, actually. Yeah, me too. That's why I was like, wait, I think I know about it, <laughs> and it's this guy. Yeah. I, I just <laughs> never knew where they came from. <laughs> I know, like by name, nobody's gonna know it. But if you show like the character, like, oh, it's these guys. Yeah, I'll probably give this a shot. How many seasons are there? Uh, I feel like it, it, it's hard. So here's the thing: I, it is compiled in everything in one. It has two hundred episodes. Oh, um, I mean, so it, it's a lore base. There we go. That's my thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'll probably give this a shot someday. Uh -huh. that, that, I would be very happy because, like, that'd be more people knowing about this anime. Yes. Mm, all right. Well, you su uh, you successfully the got me <laughs> And, hmm, Kenny, for the last time, just give me your cookies for Pete's sake. No. And then to the Shadow Realm. Realm. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. That's what he deserves. <laughs> Oh, we do have a text question from Gabby. She's asking mm -hmm. if if you have any character that is very like hard to draw for you. Yeah, it's like uh, Sonic. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he, yeah, in, I discovered when I was doing the um, 
the Sonic and the Black Knight artwork. Uh, by the way, armors are very painful to draw. Uh, it was hard for me, especially in Sonic characters. <laughs> Dear God, it took me so long to do um, this, like the full composition. Uh, but I, yeah, it's um, silver. Silver, uh, like the the weed looking quills are just a pain. <laughs> Um, I I struggled a bit drawing silver for sure. I I felt I felt like I was gonna have more trouble um, drawing Jet because he has like a very different design from the other characters. Um, but no, actually, it's just I struggled with silver. I didn't understand the <laughs> how his quills work, to be honest. Um, but other than that, I feel like um, the other characters were pretty easy to to draw uh i never gave a shot to draw like vector uh i feel like he's kind of he's a little bit more complex to draw but maybe actually i can um draw him well i have to give it a try uh, i'll probably do other artworks with other characters i see yeah i never to be honest i never like try drawing besides amy and sonic or shadow I mm -hmm. never tried like drawing fully, completely tails. Like I, I did tails before, but not like fully. Well, only once. But like knuckles or vector stuff like that, I never like drawn them. And I'm, I really want to try and see how do I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I should yeah. totally agree. It's hard to draw silver. And there's been a few times yeah, where I can never yeah. get the in his head, you know, like his quilt, head quilts, you know, right? Yeah. Those like, very particular quilts. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, the first time that I, I drew him here, I was like, wait, how many quilts does he have? Wait, is it is it five? Is it more? Wait, I actually don't know. Like, I've seen him so many times, but when I got to drawing, like, oh, wait, I don't know about him. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, with this drawing... Uh, I had actually to watch all the cutscenes from Sonic and the Black Knight. I had to rewatch it um, and to see how like the armors and how uh, the characters looked. Because like the only artwork you have of Silver and like Jet, it's just a small PNG that you have when you're selecting the character in the multiplayer um, part of the game. Uh, the multiplayer mode, yeah, you can't really see the image very well. Um, and so I had to like search for fan arts. And uh, I feel like if there's a render in Sonic Forces like uh, Battle, is that, is that the name of the game? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they have like um, a car uh, they have them on the game and they, they had like a render. And I was like, OK, it's, this is the only high quality reference I have. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, sometimes, let's be real, all of us have ever wondered why Sonic, when he's on his super form, why does he have five quills? But when he's normal, he only has three. Have you guys ever wondered that? <laughs> like, I, in, in, that's uh, the biggest question ever. Or in the game? Never, like, in the game, like, sometimes in the game, you see him with you know, three from a different viewpoint. But, like, when yeah. you look at the back, he does have five quills. It's the same oh, in Sonic oh, X as well. Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. That is weird. I actually never noticed that. Uh, well, that, that's the charm of looking at references to draw. <laughs> True, yeah. You you do find funny stuff when you're looking for references, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, do you have any more questions, Cookie? As of now, no. How about you? Nope. It seems Alrighty. that unless somebody else has any more questions. It's okay, guys. I don't bite. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> we have. She has yogurt, um, so don't worry. Oh, yeah. I forgot to eat my yogurt. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so good. I only have like one brain cell for one thing at a time. I either, I either talk or I eat. I forget. I have <laughs> All right, since it seems like we have no more questions from the people in the audience or in the discussion chat. Wait, man, no. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone has any more questions. <laughs> it was still very fun. Um, yeah. I didn't expect, like, 
so many people having interest in my work and came, like coming up here and asking about certain things related to my work and just personal questions or like taste. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> it was a very nice experience. I'm glad you liked it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, looks like Johnny has one last question. Oh, okay. <laughs> not over yet, guys. I, you are not done with me yet. I'm not done with you, nor, nor, nor Kenny, nor Kenny. No. <laughs> no, I'm saying question? in advance, no. <laughs> no, so uh, anyway, what's your question? It was my question again. Uh, do you got any uh, pets? If so, how much do you love them? I just want to ask okay. a, whole, a wholesome question. <laughs> that, is, that is a very nice question. I love, it's my favorite question of the day. Um, yeah, I have, okay, this is weird. So in my house, I have one pet. It's my 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 cat. She's called Luna and I love her very much, but I don't think she loves me back, but it's okay. I still oh. love her. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah with, with my dad, I do consider them my cats, even though I'm a little far away from them. Um, I have like other four cats in my dad's house. Um, they're very lovely. And I've, I don't, and two parrots. Oh, parrots. I remember my mm-hmm. grandpa used to have parrots. <laughs> uh, like, um, I was like, I was in love with this one parrot. Uh, she's called Iris. Uh, but she had a very special taste. To, she only liked boys. Like I would put like my finger inside the cage, and she would just bit me. She would like bite me every time. Hi. <laughs> uh, but recently, she actually like okay. You know what? Nobody else is giving me pets. You 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 are allowed. So like recently, uh, she allows me to pet her head, and I'm very happy with that. Aww. <laughs> And it's also funny with cats. Um, literally, uh, a mother and their babies are right here with me right now. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Mother of five kittens. Oh. No, that's adorable. Oh. Now, now, real question. How much do you pet. love them? I, I need a pet. <laughs> they get a pet. <laughs> I don't have a pet, unfortunately. Oh, really? I, one. <laughs> I want to have a dog. A, I'm not allowed to have pets in my house right now. Oh. I have a dog and I have a dog and a little guinea pig who likes to whine a lot. Oh, I did have like guinea pigs in the past. Oh, I, I kind of wanted a guinea pig back then. I have birds, cats, fishes, dogs back in my other house. Not anymore. <laughs> that is a huge downgrade. I will say you had so yeah. many pets and now you have none. Trust none. me. I still suffer every day for that. <laughs> anyway, that answers your question, and don't you dare ask about cookies again. Um, how dare you ruin it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you ruin my plan. You ruin my tactic. <laughs> no more cookies for you, sir. Go back to the uh, shadow. Fine, fine, fine. Be a good boy. I will. I will. Just give me a little crumble, and then that's it. <laughs> nope. Nope. Be satisfied with one crumble. No. <laughs> anyway, it seems to be now don't have that many people uh, like asking, yeah, putting down any questions or other hand braids. And I feel like this would be a good time to end up the panel. Yeah. Would Thank you, you like to say something, Shaddix, before we leave? Oh, yeah. I really like, I love this experience, first of all. And thank you for inviting me here. This is such a big honor to have like a panel with you guys. And for arranging the event. Um, no problem. And th- yeah, and thank you for everyone that uh, came here to like being interested in my work and just oh, actually just watching. It's pretty nice. No problem. Yeah, pleasure, no problem. <laughs> I want to thank my co host here, Cookie Star, for joining me in this QA. As well as, yeah, thank you, you uh, Shadik, for joining us for this QA. Yeah, no problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, by the way, tomorrow at 8 p.m. we have the Royals panel. We're going to join Blaze, Sally, Sonia, and everybody who is part of the royalty. So don't don't miss it. (laughs) The panel will be at 5 p.m. tomorrow. (laughs) All right. 
Hope you guys have a great time, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.